fans. In case you don't know, I used to do that but since whenever I did videos, there were no fans. Okay, anyways, today you might see a little boy, a little boy who looks like this. Well, in case you know, this is from the movie six years ago called Godzilla 2014, and you can't see it. So here it is. That's him. I don't have any more scissors. Is it, is it, is it um okay? I don't have any scissors. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't have any scissors, so I don't know if this review is gonna be that good. Actually, no. It's not a review. It's an unboxing. An unboxing. So yeah. We're actually going to unbox a Kiryu next. Um, not next video. We're doing it in the same video in case this video file gets corrupted. At least, like, that, like, if I did this and this didn't get corrupted, the other one could get corrupted. So I'm going to put them in two different videos and pray that it's not going to be corrupted. Because I haven't uploaded the video and I'm still recording it. How? 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 So, um, I might go find scissors. Who cares? I'm going to get scissors. I gotta... Okay, I'll just rip this thing by hand, then. Which I can't do, because I need scissors. Well, I'm pretty sure I found some scissors, but... I don't even know if these will work, so, uh... This. Okay, anyways, let's... Try to unbox this. Give me a second to get him out of this cardboard prison. Now, I wouldn't like to normally damage the box, but I had to. Okay, I can still use this. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to get Godzilla. Just give me a second. Oh, he just fell. Okay. Um, well, um, here is our beautiful baby boy. Oh. This is a legend to have, okay? Godzilla 2014 is a great movie. You should get this figure right now. I also got it from Target. There's another one in stock. And no, you might also know where I live already because the video thing. So, uh, yeah. There's one at Target where I live. If you live where I live, go get it now. There's another one in stock. This Okay, I can't even get around Godzilla's neck. Give me a moment, please. Um, that... Also, you gotta put the tail on yourself. Return of the Bendy Wires, it seems. Yep, Return of the Bendy Wires! Or is it not a Bendy Wire? I don't care, I just don't want it to be a Bendy Wire. It's a bendy wire. Rip. And you know why? Because if it's a bendy wire, you might close it too much that it snaps. And woo hoo boo boo. Your, your tail is gone. And it can't move anymore. Come on. Scissors are stuck in there. And this is just an unboxing, not a review. So we're only gonna look at the figure, observe it. The review will be tomorrow. The review two reviews will be tomorrow. Uh, ignore what just happened there. Return of the bendy wires. Now I'm not gonna put this boy's tail back on yet. But uh here we go. Here's our beautiful baby boy. He can stand without his tail. Okay, he now, this boy, 
he stands better than my 2019 because like 2019 is kind of disproportioned. That's actually a good. Okay, that is. I need to put that in the light. See, I told you it's a good figure. Finally. Okay. So, in my. Oh my god. And it's even better because it's not glow. And the jaw is stiff. The jaw is stiff. Okay. Otherwise. Okay, it's not stiff anymore. Okay. Anyways, here is everything. So, here's the tail movement. Um. And you side to side, up and down. I can't really move it because I don't have a tail. Here's the leg. Ooh, that looks. Mmm, that looks painful. Okay, let's just bend that back. Bend back, bend up. Yeah, yeah. You can swivel. <gasps> swivel here! Uh, is that a swivel? Do I even know? Who knows? I don't even know the difference between a joint and a swivel. Okay, so the jaw, open up, it's not loose anymore, so, it's on. Ooh, and this time his neck can actually move with my 2019. The neck can't even, the neck can't move that much. The neck is like real stiff on this boy. So I'm really ready to get that standard 2019, not the atomic version. So... Don't get the SH Monster Wars Godzilla 2014. Because that's not accurate. It's accurate to the PS4 model. This boy. Now he's accurate. Why does your dorsal plates have to not be hard have to not be hard like in the movie? Like only wait, they actually only move. If you like push them, they're harder, I guess. There you go. Now we're not gonna put on the tail. Just yet, we're gonna do that for the. Re I'm gonna put it on for the re review. I'm going to actually put it on before I start recording. So here's the arms. Doop a doop, doop a doop. Now the. You can't do it. Tummy. Even okay, I don't even know what a tummy crunch is. I'm not really good at this. Okay, is that a tummy crunch? I don't even know, but he can. Swip, swivel hit. Yeah. So there's that boy. We'll start using him on the series soon, as we already got the GMK. Now we got this boy. We're also gonna use Kiryu. I'll tell you the backstories in a minute. Maybe on the actual review. So, anyways, this boy isn't that glo isn't glossy. He isn't that glossy. Like the reflection. That looks that makes it look glossy. I don't even know if it is. I don't really think it is glossy. It's probably glossy in a few parts. Like as you can see there. Like that's kind of glossed. Like look at that. Yeah, that's kind of glossed. Or is it just the paint? I think that's kind of glossed. Yeah. Okay. Let's actually come. My 2019 boy. 2019 boy. So, of course, just like in the movie, it looks like they actually dare to change the head on this one because they had to. Like, that's the shape of those spines. But they had to do that because, yes, also, the head, actual head shape looks kind of different. This one looks kind of, like, turned up, and this one just looks straight and longer. Okay, then the legs. Now, I told you with this. Look. It's disproportionate. That's my problem. And uh, to make it look the pro the appropriate, I have to do that. But all I actually do is this because I have to. Now, of course, the feet look different. These feet, these feet look more like elephant feet. You can see, these ones are different, and they look more like a. I think they tried to make Godzilla 1954 feet because. The director of this movie left. They all, and also, for some odd reason, they reduced the um, hip bone. And no, when I called that a, um, a P part that I won't say ever again in one of my older videos, I was wrong. Just 
best thing that dinosaurs have. See, I like how it's a bit more accurate, like the hip bone here. That that's a hip bone. It's definitely a hip bone for to me. That they just made it shorter. So here you see Godzilla's classic six pack. Okay, no, it's a seven pack. Is a seven pack even a real thing? Okay, so yeah. We looked at that. We are doing a review, but this is not an official review, so yeah. We actually we get more into this for the review. I just wanted to compare them. I'm going to compare them in size too. So the arms look kind of different. I it's probably me. I look looks like they had to change arms kind of. I get they have the 24. Now of course, I'm pretty sure they did have to change the legs. And I'm pretty sure they did have. To, and I actually get the. So here's the 2014 tail. Sadly, it's a bendy wire. Rip everything. Okay, I just... Ooh! The end of it... it okay. Yo, this is actually like... This is actually like the movie. Okay, I'm pretty sure the thing was connected here, so... Yeah, they actually made the tail shorter in the movie. So that's actually a cool addition. Looks really accurate. Compared him. And of course, this guy has the 1954 spines, and they're also bigger. So, okay, the body is looks like the same sculpt, but since it has to be a different sculpt for the spines, yeah, it has to be a different sculpt for the, for the like, the third row right here. So there's a fifth row, there's a fourth row here, and to me it looks like there might be a fifth row. So yeah, yeah, I think there's a fifth row, but it goes up to the neck, right here. So yeah. Now for this guy, his neck is different, and his gills, oh, his gills are different! These gills are like more here, these ones are smaller, and right there, and the... Uh, yeah, that's actually cool. So, changed almost everything. Wow. That's cool. Okay. Okay! So, yeah, let's, um, leave this giant bendy wire. Bye. Okay, anyway. So, yeah. Pretty much for Godzilla's all over Godzilla 2014. Now let's compare him. He's the same size, and that's inaccurate, or maybe it's not because my broken, disproportionate Godzilla 2019 leg. Maybe that's not. Like, I know he's this height. I know he is. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's the end of you. No, I'm not going to throw you away. I'm going to take you back. So yeah, so shortly we're going to unbox the Kiryu, which is giant. It's even bigger than the 1954, which I'm actually going to tell you the, st the rolls. So there you go. You're adding to my collection. You definitely need to add this to, co to your collection. It's a great figure. I love it. Don't get the SH Monster right now. Um. Oh, hey, Trey. So, anyways, we have this. So, yeah, we are unboxing. And, um, I'm not going to show him the face of this assistant here. Because she doesn't want to be on camera. So, yeah. Trey, you're still famous. Don't you love being famous? I give you rubs. Okay.
looks amazing. She looks gorgeous. Nice, baby. Can we match? Congratulations, you converted her. Carrie you with being unboxed. <laughs> this is great. And, uh... Okay, so Carrie you is being done on boxes. And of course I couldn't do this myself. And now we have the beloved Kiryu. So uh here he is. Now this is not a SH Monster figure, because if I was doing this, it would like be tilting now. And like like, like I'm sad that NECA never Got to make a Kiryu. So yeah. So here's the Kiryu. He is tri he's gigantic. He's not that big. Smaller than an X plus figure, but yeah. Anyways, I should have got the smaller variant of this, but I had but this was the only one of the only one available. So here's Kiryu. Now he can this this bandai figure. Can uh, actually move his uh okay wait give me a second so he can actually do that I don't know if this is intentional I can like move it I don't want to break this thing give me another second okay so it's back up so the neck can the neck and head can also move it makes a lot of noise because it's kind of squishy. You could open the jaw and mouth, which is not intentional, but since it's so squishy, you can. You can move the arms up and down. Hello! <laughs> no, you think that's real soda? Well, look closely. <gasps> okay, yeah, so the legs can move, but the tail can move. So yeah, you can do that. Oh, that actually looks. If you look at it from this angle, that it looks good. If you look at it from that angle, now that that's. But if you look at it from this angle, it's just disgusting. So yeah, there we go. Here's the end of his tail, which has the classic grippers. I don't know why Toho added that, and considering. What is that supposed to be? Like, I know it's supposed to be the 1954 Godzilla inside of, of a robot. It's, it's inside of a robot. But, like... Okay, I'm going to compare with my ex... My ne ne NECA Godzilla 1954 and see if they actually did a good job with doing stuff with it. As you can see, this thing is dwarfed. Dwarfed. Not dwarfed. Dwarfed by this gigantic thing. And not to mention it's not to mention that uh X plus figures like they don't have this kind of stretchy thing. Like, they're different. They're definitely different. Nope, nope. Okay, so those feet now, I see they tried to make it look like that. They done good at it, but you need to make that toe go back. Now, now the tail, the tail's good, it's accurate. But it's some tails. That is supposed to be like three, and it's covered in one. I told her, really. Also, not to mention, for some odd reason, he has one spine on on the back of his thighs and as you can see on 1954 Godzilla nope Toho I know you tried to do this I know you tried to make it look like the original on um, Mecha Godzilla but like really that face doesn't even look that similar to the actual night of to this actual mecha figure, it doesn't look that good. Like, yeah, it looks a big snout, like, it looks bigger and that sleek. Now, the spines are the worst thing. Like, 
I'm not saying the design is bad. It's a good design, but like, you didn't even care to. You didn't even need care to like make it match with the action. Like, like yes, you made a like you made a. If it, is it a suit or is it a puppet? Yeah, if a puppet, like to re recreate the 1954 Gods of like. So this is this scene basically um in the Kiryu saga when uh when they show 19, Godzilla 1954 getting obliterated by the um oxygen destroyer. And here's what it looks like. So pretend the background's in the ocean. Then his skeleton wizards away. I'm going to use Kiryu as a skeleton. Yep. You even made an accurate puppet because you wanted the 1954 Godzilla to look like this in the first place. But look. Like what? Like Toho, I'm not, I'm still, Toho, and my viewers, I am not saying Kiri has a bad design. It has a good design, and I like it. They just really just didn't care that much to, like, actually make it good looking like uh, that much. Okay, Toho, I'm crediting you. I'm giving you good advice. I just wish you, maybe in the future you could remake the Kiryu Saga, Toho. Like, maybe, like, remake the Kiryu Saga. In the future, after Godzilla vs. Kong, because Godzilla vs. Kong is the last legendary Godzilla film. Thankfully, no more fanboys. Because all fanboys will be gone, all their dreams will be crushed, and I'll be happy. Because I won't get any more. Okay, so anyways, let's look at the details of this boy, because I want to, and this is just an unboxing. I'll actually get more deeper. So yeah, that face, I'm not going to describe it. My tablet is about to die, so um. Yeah, so here's the absolute zero cannon, the skate things on the legs, the tail's good, and yeah. So, um, bye guys, I my tablet's gonna die if I don't end this video, so bye! It's been 22 years.